All right, Salawam. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a sincere Salawam to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. I want to go on this lesson on the Lord doesn't care about your personal opinion or your feelings. Okay? Um. He told us what we're supposed to do, and we have to do what the Lord said to do, okay? Um, this is a, a, a business, okay? And we have a job to do that the Lord requires, requires of us to do, okay? Now, with that said, I want to get into the etymology of the word business. Um... It says uh, care, anxiety, occupation, you know, and, and prophets are supposed to be occupied in prophecy. OK, um, it says careful, anxious, busy, occupied, diligent. OK, so brothers are supposed to be uh, diligent in this truth. Uh, when it comes down to uh, doing what the uh, Lord says, it says uh, to mean business, be intent on serious action okay and when you pick up this this bible you have to you or, or, or when you come into the knowledge wisdom and understanding of who you are as as, as an israelite you're supposed to be serious about this thing okay your intentions are supposed to be pure and you're supposed to be serious about this thing the lord doesn't care about um what we uh personally feels we have a job to do, and that's what we have to do, okay? It says, uh, well, yeah, and we follow after the, the, the example of the one who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, which his real name is Yahweh Shah, okay? It says, uh, we, we follow after his, his example, and I got this scripture, okay? It says, Luke 2, 2 and 42, and when he was 12 years old, which is Yahweh Shah, it says, they went up to Jerusalem, after the custom of the feast and when they had fulfilled the days as they returned the child Yahweh Shah tarried behind in Jerusalem and Joseph and his mother knew not so he was 12 years old but they supposed of him to to have been in the company went a day's journey and they sought him among their kinsfolk and acquaint acquaintance acquaintance and when they found him not, they turned back again to Jerusalem, seeking him. And it came to pass that after three days they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors, both hearing them and asking them, asking them questions. So basically they, they took this time to, to find Yahweh Shah when he was 12 years old. Okay? It says, And all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers and when they saw him they were amazed and his mother and son i mean and his mother said unto him son why hast thou thus dealt with us behold thy father and i have sought thee sor sorrowing and he said unto to them how is it that you sought me wist you not that i must be about my father's business so from a 12 year old, okay, he knew that he had to be about his father's business, okay? And his parents knew uh, uh, what, uh, when, when, what, who, who they had, okay? His parents knew who they, who, who they had. And, and he, his example that we're supposed to set is that, hey, he was about his father's business, man, you know? He, it wasn't about he could have been doing what any other regular 12 year old uh would have been doing but what did he do he did what the father said to do okay and that's what we supposed to do okay um romans 12 and 11 it says not slothful in business okay you're going to this word slothful okay it says sluggish slothful backward Okay, when you come into this truth, man, you're supposed to be, 
You supposed to be on fire for this thing, man. This this scripture says it says fervent in spirit. Okay, this this thing is supposed to be in you. Okay, it says to boil with heat, to be hot. You know, we 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 have this zeal for Yahweh by Shemiah It says serving the Lord. You know, so we have a business that we're supposed to do. You know, and the Lord doesn't uh, care about. Our personal failings and uh, this truth it says rejoicing and hope patient and tribulation so when we go through these things in life okay we should both be patient man because if, if you are a, a, a person that's understanding of how the spirit goes man the Lord ain't gonna suffer you to go through nothing that you can't handle man you know the Lord wants you to be um, um, in, in, in order Okay, and we're we're being tried like like gold, okay, to get these impurities out of us. Okay. It says uh continuing instant in prayer. Okay, so when you go through these things, you know, uh the, the, the problems that are in our um in our life, you know, you supposed to always pray because we know where these things come from. You know? We know where these things come from. Um, First Thessalonians 4 and uh, 11, it says, And that you study to be quiet and to do your own business and to work with your own hands as we have commanded you, you know? So you don't be, be a, a busybody in another man affairs, okay? You, 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 you study, you, you come into this thing and you do uh, what you're supposed to do, you know? You focus on your own thing. You got too many people in the in the in, in, in into the whole gossip thing, you know. You 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 do what you supposed to do as a, a man of the Lord or even a woman of the Lord. Okay? You 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 focus on yourself, okay? And if you can um help a brother out in a situation, you know then that's what you do, you know? But you focus on yourself. The scripture says that um, work out your own soul salvation with trembling and fear. Okay. Uh, Job 38 and 3. Because the title of the lesson is the Lord doesn't care about your opinion. Okay. It's uh, Job 38 and 3. Gird up now thy loins like a man. For I would demand of you an answer thou me you know so when we go through these uh tribulations or whatever we go through in our life you know we have to gird up ourselves because as, as the scripture said you know the that the lord ain't going to suffer you above that which you are able to be tempted okay and will with with that same temptation make a way for you to get out of it okay and job was getting tested and Job um, knew that his opinion, okay, that he had to be he had to be uh, spiritual. Now, I want to get into the word opinion. Okay, it says uh, 1300 from Old French opinion, opinion, view, judgments found upon probabilities. Um, opinion, conjecture. Fancy belief what one thinks the Lord don't care about what you think man, you know As long as you thinking towards y'all by some outside, that's what really matters because you have people who who um Who who go through things and they want to put the credit on everything except for the Lord, you know uh, You have people who, who come up to these camps and and, and, and want to say what they think the scriptures say okay when the look you know they want to add on to the to the scriptures you know oh i don't i don't, I don't like that that bible because you know it says thou and and, and and thee and stuff like that you know which that's just an excuse man you know that's just an excuse the lord don't care about that man the lord the lord has a scripture in there that cuts uh people who come up and, and, and try to say that that craziness man you know, you, you have to study to so that you're approved. 
it says uh what one thinks the lord don't care about what you think you know he don't care about what you believe you know and your own is this scripture says uh ecclesiastes ecclesiasticus 3 and 24 for many are deceived by their own vain opinion you know you have a lot of people that that have uh vain or worthless opinions you know it it, it your, your, your opinion don't matter man you know especially when it comes down to to something spiritual that's coming from the lord okay it says esteem think judge suppose open okay and and that's pretty much you know the point you know so when you when you come into this truth you have to gird up your 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 your, your loins like a man and 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 do as the scriptures say because the lord gave us the guideline he gave us the 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 the, the judgments that are going to happen you know the, the 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 fact that america is going to get destroyed by thermonuclear missiles it don't matter whether you believe it or not you know it's going to happen you know because the lord said that it's going to happen you know you have people that sit up there and say well i don't i don't believe that i don't believe that i'm an israelite or i don't believe that uh i'm an edomite you know but you can't even prove any other way of what you are man you know there's only one truth to life okay um this is job um two and um i'm gonna start at i'm gonna start at the seventh verse it says so went satan i'm gonna start at the sixth verse it says and the lord said unto satan behold he is in your hand but but save his life but a sec but a sec his life okay so went satan forth from the presence of the lord okay you have a lot of people that sit up there and try to say that that um satan and the lord uh fight or that they're enemies okay but the lord is in control of of satan man yeah it's a lot of people out here that are, are, are totally uh messed up uh doctrine wise or or based based upon their own uh beliefs man and smoke joy job with sore boil sore boils from the sole of his feet onto his crown and he took him a pot sir to scrape himself with 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 all and he sat down among the asses then said his wife unto him does thou still remain uh retain thine integrity you know because the, the lord cares about integrity it says curse god and die this is what his wife said but he said unto her thou speakest is one of the foolish women speaketh i mean thou speakest if, is one of the women foolish women speaketh what so so we receive good at the hand of God and shall not receive evil? And all this did Job sin not with his lips. You know? Because a lot of people don't take into the, 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 the um in, in, into um consideration that the, the the things that they say um or multiplying their words against the Lord is a sin. You know? A lot of people don't think think that way. Okay? This is uh, James 5 and 10. Because the Lord is, is, in, is in charge of, of the good and the, uh, the, the evil. Okay? Um, Job 5 and 10. Take my brethren, the prophets who have spoken in the name of the Lord, which the name of the Lord is Yahweh, the Most High, and his son name is Yahweh Shah. Okay? For an example of suffering, affliction, and patience. I mean, and of patience. So the prophets are going to suffer affliction and patience. This life is not about um, about uh, living um, luxurious, okay? That's not what this is about, okay? It says, behold, we count them happy which endure, and we have to endure until the end. You have heard of the patience of Job, and it's through the spirit that, you know, I just uh, continue to, to read on this thing, and I see it, you know, that, that this, it goes into Job. It says, and have seen the end of the Lord, which, you know, the Lord is going to destroy this place with, with thermonuclear fire. 
It says that the Lord is very pitiful and of tender mercy. Okay? So we have to suffer these things, man. Okay? Um, I'm going to get two more scriptures and I'm going uh, to close it. I'm probably, probably get one more after that. Uh, 1 Peter 1 and 13. Wherefore, gird up thy lo the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end of the grace that is brought upon you at the revelation of Yahweh Shah. And I, a lot of people don't don't believe that Yahweh Shah was was a, a so-called black man, which the scriptures say that that he is. Okay, they believe that he, Jesus Christ, his name is Jesus Christ, and that he is a white man. Okay, Lord don't care about your opinion. You can't prove what what you're saying. Then you know, hey, you 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 going off your own vain opinion. It says, as obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lust. And your ignorance, you know, because uh, people don't understand. The word ignorant uh, means not knowing, okay? And um, it should hopefully uh, say this, lack of knowledge, ignorance, especially of divine things, of moral blindness. And and this is the point, man. A lot of our people are, are morally blinded, Okay. They, 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 they don't understand the, the divine things, the holy uh, things, okay? So, so, you know, it's only natural that our people are lost, you know, you know and that they can't get it because they, they, they're going off of their own vain opinion, okay? Um, John 21 and 18, Verily, verily, I say unto you, when thou wast young, thou girdest thyself and walk, walkest whither thou wouldest. But when thou shalt be old, thou shalt stretch forth thy hands, and another shall gird thee and carry thee whither thou wouldest not. And when you come into this truth, man, you have to be taught. Because the way we was taught before, you know, we, we you, you, you could just do whatever, think whatever. Everybody had their own opinion. You know, if, if, if as long as it ain't you, you don't have a problem with it, you know. The the Lord ain't dealing with all that, man. If the Lord said that this is what, what he wants, then this is what he wants. Okay? And that's 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 the truth. Like like whatever the spirit the, the scriptures say, then that's what that's what uh they say, man. You have to be taught how to serve the Lord properly. Okay? Um Proverbs 22 and 29. This is the last verse. Um, Seest thou a man diligent in his own business? You know, so so you coming to this truth and you're doing what the Lord said to do. You know, you diligent. Okay? It says, he shall stand before men. He shall not stand before me. I mean, he shall stand before kings. He shall not stand before mean men. You know? So when, 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 for example, some situation happened where, uh, you know, you might be uh, in a situation where brothers might be going through something as far as, you know, spiritual things, you know, and, and, and you judge righteously according to what the scriptures say, you know, not because you like somebody personally, but because that's what the scriptures say, okay? That's what the Lord taught us to do. He gave us the guidelines. Okay, and if you follow them guidelines, then you're going to be along among other men that follow them guidelines. You're going to be a ruler of this world, not these men, mean people who, who have this vain opinion about you, you know, and, and, and they getting over on you and stuff like that, you know, because they don't have the foundation of Yahweh by Simi Yahweh Okay, so no matter what we go through, no matter what we have, no matter, um, our personal uh, opinions, okay, because we're not going to agree on everything, okay, but but no matter what uh, what what we go through in this truth, this truth is not about us. This truth is about Yahweh Hashem Yahusha, okay, and nothing comes above Yahweh Hashem Yahusha. So you have to put those personal feelings aside for this truth, man, okay. So with that, man, hopefully this was um, edifying, you know, brothers uh, continue to stay diligent, 
you know, and continue to, to, to be in the business of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh okay, be occupied in these scriptures and trying to, you know, apply these scriptures, you know. Like I said, hopefully this was edifying and uh, I want to say Shalom until next time.